Medes. When a body floats freely in the water, the mass of the body is equal to the mass of the water that the body presses away at the corresponding drift. Change in drive. When a ship has one or more damaged compartments, the draft will increase to compensate the loss of buoyancy for the damaged compartments. A new equilibrium of the floating position occurs. Healing angle. If the damage is unmetrical around the center line, the ship will heal. Change of trim. If the damaged compartments are in the foreship or in the aft ship, a significant trim will develop. Change in stability parameters. The sea feels the hull of the damaged as if the damaged compartments were non-existent. Center of gravity G and center of buoyancy B. The stability of the ship is affected by the damage. The underwater hull is completely different uh, by the stability parameters. If the cargo and the fluids in tanks still is on board the ship after the damage, G will remain on its original location. B will change position so uh, that B and G lie on a vertical line. Metacent radius BM. The metacenter M will change location since the shape of the underwater hull has changed. The metacentric height GM will often decrease, but can in fact sometimes increase depending on the width of the image. The location of M depends on the displacement of the ship and the moment of inertia of the water plane area around the longitudinal axis through the center of flotation by the formula. Here, BM is the metacenter radius, that is, the distance between M and B. This symbol is the moment of inertia of the water plane area, and this symbol is the volume of displacement. Damage extending above original water. If the damaged compartments extend above water line, it will cut a hole in the water plane area and reduce the moment of inertia. Damage extending above original waterline. Since the displacement is constant, the distance BM will be reduced. B will rise a little due to increased draft, but not so much as decrease of BM. This means that G will be closer to M after the damage, and the ship will have a smaller M. Damage not reaching the original waterline. If the damage area affects, for example, double bottom, the water plane area will be almost unaffected. A little increase of draft gives large water plane area and a slightly increased moment of inertia. Damage not reaching the original water line. This means that the distance BM will increase and the increased draft will push B upwards. Consequently, GM will increase. Volume permeability coefficients. The damaged compartment in the ship cannot be completely filled with seawater because interior outfitting, machinery or cargo already occupies the compartment. The permeability of the space is expressed with a decimal or a percentage figure, that is, the maximum volume of water that can enter the compartment divided by the total volume of the compartment. This figure is used to estimate how many tons of seawater can enter the ship in case of damage which is used for calculating the new floating position. Plus gives the following figures for estimation purposes. Cargo and stores. 60% permeability. Accommodation. 95% permeability. Machinery spaces. 85% permeability. Intent for liquids. 0 or 95% permeability whichever results in a more safer requirement.